All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL West Supreme Kai at Rainbow Status, and this time with all level 1 links, because I just feel like it's a much more realistic showcase for most people, since I'm guessing the majority of you guys are not going to be maxing out our links anytime soon. Okay, so before we get into the gameplay, let's talk about our details. Her leader skill is Realm of Gods category Q plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Her super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And her passive is attack and defense plus 100%, guards all attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack. So basically, the first attack she doesn't guard, but then all attacks after in that rotation will be guarded. Yo, stupid answering machine going off again in the middle of the video. I'm gonna smash that phone, I swear. Anyways, yo, the most annoying part is that most of these people don't even leave a message. They just like stay on the line for like 10 seconds and they hang up. Okay, anyways, uh, that's the passive. Oh, also, uh, did I say this? Realm of Gods category allies, attack and defense plus 40% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. Okay, so she buffs attack and defense, but also critical hit chance, which is pretty awesome. So there you go, another uh, top tier support unit for the Realm of Gods category. Uh, there's already quite a few of those, but I guess it's okay, because obviously this category needed the buff, right? It's not like it's already the best category in the game or anything like that. Anyways, uh, those are the details for the West Supreme Kai. One other thing I want to say quickly before we get into it is uh, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, my boy William Wu on Facebook from Mobile Game Whale. He's been so kind to hook me up with some extra stones recently for this Gohan banner to hopefully just pull that one copy I need, man. I don't care about dupes, I don't care about rainbowing him, I just want the one copy, it's been a struggle, so he helped your boy out. And if you guys are looking to save yourselves a good amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, specifically for iOS devices, then make sure to hit him up on Twitter, or sorry, Facebook, hit him up on Facebook, link, in my description down below, tell him your boy Tiger sent you. Okay, so with all that said, we're gonna jump in here. We are on the Majin Buu Saga stage, the uh, first one of the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, and we got her linked up with the um, Supreme Cap Time, as well as Beerus. Actually, yeah, let's, let's put her in the middle so she gets that Fierce Battle link too. And she's starting off with 121,000 defense, which is actually pretty good. I mean, as you can see, the Beerus has 121,000 as well. Actually, they have almost exactly the same defense, I just realized. Okay, interesting. So yeah, comparable to this Beerus, which has three dupes. Although, of course, Beerus will get more defense after he takes a hit. But regardless, regardless, good amount of defense to start. Um, pretty impressive. And also, she greatly raises attack and defense after supering, right? So... Um, you know, once she gets that super off, if you're not if you're not keeping her in the first slot or putting her in the first slot and taking attacks before she gets a chance to super, then she's actually going to be tanking quite well. Okay, so here we go. Wow. Whoa. That's really good. Yo, okay, so 1.8 mil for her first super. Of course, greatly raising attack and defense too, so that obviously helps her defense. Um, would have been, I don't know what the math actually, uh, like how, how it works out, but I think it might be like 150k maybe or something like that, because she greatly raises is 50%, right? So it, it actually should be like 180k or something, I don't know. Um, Dokkan math is kind of weird to me, so sometimes um, I have a hard time, you know, figuring this stuff out. Anybody out there that does like calculations or just, uh, you know, is smarter than I am, then let us know, okay? After she greatly raises defense, would it be basically just a 50% increase? So it'd be 180k or so, or would there be other factors that change that a little bit? I think I think that's just literally what it is. I think it's just a 50% increase. So in that case, she would have had like 180,000 defense. I gave her more additionals than crits too. So if she had double supered, it would have been even more on top of that, right? So, <clears throat> so far defensively, She's looking really good. Yo, is my voice weird today? I feel like there's something wrong with my voice. God, I drink that water. Okay, so let's throw beers in the back here. Um, this time we're not gonna 
link her up with the LR Beerus, even though we do get more attack, as you can see, um, because I want to see some more tanking. So 121,000 defense once again. We're going to give her two orbs. And uh, let's see what kind of tanking she can do for us. Remember, the first attack she takes is not going to be guarded. Okay, so here, that's, okay, 7,000. Yep, so it's 1.3k. But then the second hit, because she was guarding an attack, right, only did double digits. Okay, here's a super. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we went from taking 7,000 damage for the first normal attack, which was, was not guarded, to taking like 20 something damage on the second hit, which was guarded, and then to taking a super after we got the super and taking that for 11 damage or whatever the number was. I saw, I saw something really low, so um, I don't remember exactly, but it was very, very minimal damage. So she's a tank, man. Yo, this girl, um, AGL West Supreme Kai, she's a tank. Um, by the way, level 1 skills or link skills, so um, you know, no extra boost from there, uh, no skill orbs given, so no extra defense, no extra attack, no extra crit chance, additionals, anything like that. She's basically just a beast, like she's, she's amazing. Um, and like, like I said, you know, another, another top, top tier support unit, uh, I'm very impressed by how much damage you can do as a support unit, who's giving 40% attack and defense, also 10% chance to crit, and, uh, oh, this is gonna be a fun rotation. Okay, so we got the double support here, she's getting a ton of links, man, she's getting, okay, four, so, not too bad, <laughs> and, uh, she's getting support from both the girls, uh, let's see, compared to the Vados here, um, she has a little bit less defense, a little bit less, but Vados, as we know, is also a beast, so that's okay. And uh, compared to the uh, Supreme Kai of Time, she has quite a bit more defense, right? So let's put it in the middle, get all those links going. Actually, oh, I just realized she doesn't get any extra links from the uh, Supreme Kai of Time. She gets actually all those links already from Vados. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's just link her up with Vados, and then we can you know, test out a little bit more of the tanking ability. I mean, there's no point at this stage because we already saw that a super is not even gonna do any, any damage to us, but uh, maybe let's just test the damage here. Okay, so 1.95, 1.95. We're looking for an additional super now. Give me that additional, ah, no additional, super. Oh, oh, it's cause we didn't um, take a hit first. So we didn't, we didn't guard. Man, okay. The difference that guard makes is actually insane. The difference that guard makes is actually wild. Um, I still didn't think we, I, I, yeah, I, I still didn't think we were gonna take that much damage. Just kind of threw me off, to be honest. But um, as, as you can see, you you want to make sure, you want to make sure that she takes an attack first, ideally, and, and a normal attack. Because if you if you um, get a super off, right? Or no, if you take a super first, that's not going to be guarded. So you could still leave yourself open to a lot of pain, which is what happened there. Yeah, that was oh, that was surprising, man. I was I was kind of shook. Um, but yeah, she's still good. She's still very good. But yeah, she's not going to be like the best defensive unit, as as you just saw. Um, she's not like I don't know, like what, whatever you want to say, uh, golden freeze level, um, AGL and tech. She's not AGL Gohan level. She's not. Um, whatever you may have, right? Like, she's not on, on the level of those kinds of units, but her defense does hold up quite well, and uh, her damage is actually pretty impressive for what she is. Okay, so this rotation for orbs um, kind of blows. There's, like, no way to get a super off with with anybody here, actually. Um, I mean, okay, so if I give, like, one orb to her here... And then I'll give one orb to her. We can at least the super with Beerus. But we're not here to showcase Beerus. So it's not really a point. But still, okay, good tanking. 95, 58. As you can see, the damage uh, decreased on the second hit because she did start guarding um, after she took the first attack, right? And so you can tell when guard is activated by the arrow as well, right? So the arrow is pointing directly down it means that the attack is being fully guarded, okay? I think a lot of people actually don't know about that for some reason. It's kind of like this weird thing um, that I thought just like everybody was aware of, but recently I learned 
that like some people had no idea what the arrows actually were, right? So yeah, if the arrows is pointing directly down, it does mean guard is activated and uh, usually the damage that you're taking is a lot less than normal, right? Oh, actually, are we gonna die? Out of the core of my eye, I was like, okay, hold on, our HP is really low, but I was also talking about something else, so I, I forgot to heal up. But maybe we don't need to. Maybe we don't need to. Um, ooh, okay, so it looks like we got locked in place here. Hmm, yeah, let's go for an Usher. You know, let's just skip this turn, and uh, we'll try to put the Supreme Kai in front, of, in front of some attacks the next time she comes back. Okay, and this is actually good. I, I would have wanted to keep Topo in the first slot too for that uh, additional attack boost, right? So let's see, after the Topo attack boost with the Topo, Topo support, as well as the Vado support, what she's doing. Okay, so almost 2 million. Almost 2 million, which is pretty comparable to when we had double support last time. And as you can see, Vado's pretty much doing the same thing. So offensively, it looks like Vado's... Um, and the West Supreme Kai are actually, yeah, pretty comparable to each other. Um, I would say that, honestly, Vados is still a better unit, in my opinion. But, um, you know, West Supreme Kai is not, is, is no slouch either. She's, she's definitely no slouch either. So, um, yeah, overall, from this showcase, I would say mm -hmm. I'm personally very impressed. I don't know how you guys feel about her. Uh, maybe the damage isn't quite as much as you were expecting. Maybe the tanking was not quite as good as you thought it would be. But keep in mind, she's a support unit, guys. Okay, a support unit. If you go back like a year and a half, um, or even more than that, you know, support units were just not supposed to do damage, right? They're not supposed to do anything except for supporting, and that's what we're kind of used to um, in the earlier days of Dokkan. But these days, even support units that are giving 40% attack and defense, 10% crit chance, are hitting close to 2 million damage um, as far as the attack goes, attack stat goes, and uh, also doing some really good tanking. And this is an awakening for, you know, an old unit. It's not like she just came out. Like, Vados just came out recently, but um, the West Supreme Kai's been out for a minute, right? She's been in the game for quite a long time, and she's just getting a token awakening, um, which we don't have to summon for. So, uh, yeah, overall, really good. As far as the hidden potential, uh, hidden potential skills go, I had her with all dodges before, okay, like when, when uh, you know, we didn't know there was going to be an easy A, um, she had, yeah, literally, I think 15 dodge and like, you know, a couple additional just from the free part of the um, hidden potential as well as, you know, like level 3 or level 6 crit, whatever it was, but uh, regardless, it was definitely not ideal and that's kind of like the annoying thing about like, you know, giving hidden potential skills to units that don't have an awakening because you never know what's gonna happen, right? So the lucky thing was, luckily, I did have, um, I did have a bunch of extra dupes for the AGL Kai just sitting in my box. I have like nine copies just from summons, and obviously I keep them because I just I'm a hoarder. So I use those to change most of her skills to additionals and crits, right? So now she has level 14 additional, level 12 crit, and uh, no dodge actually, I think it's just that. Yeah, 14 additional, 12 crit. I feel like that's a really good setup for her. Whoa! The Majin Vegeta hits hard, man. I forgot about that. Um, as I was saying, as I was saying, uh, I forgot now. That just totally threw me off. What was I talking about again? What were we talking about? Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, hidden potential skills. Yeah, so I would go for mostly additional for her to be honest. Um, with like, you know, with, with, with like some crit. Um, I, I went for definitely a more of a balanced approach. So like 14, 12, you could go for, you know, 17, 9, or even 20 and 6. I think additionals do make more sense on her. I mean, she does still get that extra 10% on her passive anyways. So that, of course, helps with the crits. But uh, her ability to, you know, greatly raise attack and defense on the super. Not not infinitely for one turn, but still in that same turn, if you're getting double super, that's going to make a big difference. And, you know, even through the showcase, I'm kind of thinking like maybe I'll just, oh, we're going to die. Uh, I should just straight up go for as much additional as possible 
um, and just like go all in on the you know additional super attack percentage, right? So I'm still thinking about that, but overall uh, I am very impressed with her. I think she's a great, great support unit, great addition to the Realm of Gods team. That uh, I mean, in all seriousness, is the best category in the game right now, in my opinion. Okay, so. That is the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about her, how you feel, are you impressed, are you disappointed, or somewhere in between. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.